Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art. Um, I don't know why I always do that. I introduce myself whenever I'm making a YouTube video. It's very peculiar, but I have this like natural habit to do it. Anyways, um, I'm going to continue with our reading. My last reading, as you know, was two days ago. I make an effort to finish this. I want to get through it. So, uh, And this headdress is really in honor of Donald Trump because he is so awkward with people of color and Muslims. And when I was younger, I actually followed, oh, there's my hair. I actually followed the Baha'i faith, and uh, which is pseudo-Muslim, right? And so, actually, I have this really pretty firm idea that Judaism, Islam, and the, uh, the Christian thing, they're all three sides of the same coin. So, I honor them all, to be honest. I guess I really am a Baha'i at heart or a Jean. I guess they, although I don't go around with my clothes off, or I could, but that's, I'd have to really make a commitment. <laughs> so no, I guess I'm not really there yet. Anyways, uh, I used to dress like this when my kids were little for a short period of time. And I think that we need to honor how people want to dress. It doesn't matter. Like, I have friends that are transgender, and I honor them for however they want to live. What, however people want to live that, you know, and I actually don't think when people say, oh, I'm a conservative, I reject the language groping because uh, they're not conservative. Most of them are closet pedophiles. Uh, we saw what Donald Trump is capable of, like most, a lot of men. I mean, any woman who didn't, could, de I mean, very few women can deny not being harassed by a man, right? So, but let's move on. That's not why I'm here. Um, hi, Facebook. I'm actually taping this on Facebook Live for the first time. I decided to go live. And it's kind of peculiar because I'm wearing this headscarf, which I normally don't do on my YouTube channel. So that's what this is. This is a, a reading. And it is, we're back to this, testing the validity of the International Atomic Energy Agency safety culture model from 2013. And we are on the third, uh, third study, testing the factorial structure. 2.3.1, purpose of the study. Investigating the internal structure of theoretical constructs is essential to social science research because the misspecification of dimensions can lead to incorrect and consequently misleading empirical results. Hmm, I think that's what we've gone now. The extent to which the relationships between the components of an assessment instrument are consistent with the definition of the construct constitutes relevant evidence of the validity of the instrument, which in turn contributes to the validation of the underlying construct. And I'm going to tell you what, folks, this is beginning to piss me off. I'm getting super hot-headed in here. I can't even, like, my eyes are going berserk. We know exactly what these people have done to us. We are seeing it. People are dying and getting sick. And yet tonight in St. Louis, where... The, the uh, so-called debate was not one word about nuclear pollution where the people of St. Louis are living right next door to a nuclear burning dump site. Completely unreasonable, not one question. So here I am. I'm going to put my scarf on because I like to wear a scarf, but I don't want it on my head. There. Keeps my neck warm. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know how people aren't just jumping up and down at this. Okay, let's read this. The purpose of this study is to test whether the five-dimensional safety culture model specified by the IAEA adequately represents the attributes that reflect according to the IAEA, the attitudes and behaviors that are indicators of strong safety culture. In order to attain this goal, the IAEA safety culture model was converted into a questionnaire containing 37 items corresponding to the 37 attributes of the model. Specifically, apart from evaluating the fit 
of the five-factor model to the data, convergent and discriminant validity were assessed. Convergent validity was evaluated by examining the extent to which items correlate strongly with the dimensions they represent and show high and statistically significant factor loadings in the corresponding factors. Discriminant validity was assessed by testing the hypothesis that the correlations among the IAEA factors differ significantly from unity, i.e. not correlated perfectly, and are empirically discriminable. Hypothesis 3. The five-factor the five factor structure of the model operationalized through the proposed attributes will be confirmed by the data, showing evidence of factorial validity. 2.3.2 Sampling Procedure <sighs> We received a complete questionnaire Excuse me, I'm going to read that again. We received a completed questionnaire from 495 workers from one Spanish nuclear power plant, NPP. They love their acronyms. The total size of the company was 760 employees. Thus, we obtained a response rate of 65.13%. The data was collected in 2011. Holy fuck a -ma -boli. In order to, sorry for cussing folks, sorry. In order to guarantee the quality of the data, these questionnaires were more than, excuse me, those questionnaires with more than three unanswered questions were dropped from the data set, resulting in a final sample of 468 participants. Wow, out of 760. So they really only, if they had what? with more than three, so they could have three unanswered questions and be part of it. The sample included all responsibility levels and functional areas in the nuclear facility. 47% of the participants had completed university studies. Three of the participants were under the age of 30. 18% were 30 to 45 year olds and 79%, 79% were older than 45. So not only are the plants old, but the geezers that are running them are old. Lord, jeez. I wonder what kind of cancers they're getting. So outrageous. We're just being sliced up like experiment lab rats, man. 2.3.3 Survey Administration The questionnaire was administered by the researchers who stayed at the NPP for three days to collect data. <coughs> Excuse me. This condition assured that doubts when filling out the questionnaire could be immediately resolved. This questionnaire was part of a battery of questionnaires aimed to address the different topics related to safety culture and safety climate that each participant was asked to complete the administration of the battery took the administration of the battery took place during work time and the participants needed around 30 minutes to complete the entire battery they were provided with instructions explaining the purpose of the study and the way the questionnaire should be completed Participants' task was to rate on a five-point Likert-type scale to what extent they agreed with 37 statements related to their organization. These statements were the 37 attributes of the IAEA model. Since the target sample was native Spanish speakers, researchers created the questionnaire using the back-translated version of the model mentioned in the first two studies on this paper. Wow. Participants were encouraged to answer sincerely and take as much time as they needed to accurately complete the questionnaire. Voluntary participation, confidentiality, and anonymity were emphasized. Kronbach's alpha values for the five dimensions of the model were as follows. 0.87 for the dimension of safety is a clearly recognized value. 0.92 for leadership, 
for safety is clear. Point eight three for accountability for safety is clear. Point eight nine for safety is integrated into all activities. And point eight four for safety is learning driven. Chromebacks Alpha for all the items included in the five dimensions was point nine seven. Not even one percent. Not even one. Lord, 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 or maybe that's a hundred. Uh, we'll have to see what that, I'll have to do some homework and figure out what this scale is. Uh, in the Lichten back, I think it was called Lichten back. Anyways, I'm going to move on. So 2.34 analysis. Let me see how much time we have. We have 10 minutes. You know what, you guys, I think I'm going to end here. I actually do have huh, homework I didn't do yet, so that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I do need to stop. So uh, I'll read to you guys tomorrow night. We'll finish this up pretty soon. Put your courage feet on. Take some action. Call your elected officials and tell them to shut down every nuclear plant tomorrow. Help the people of St. Louis. And you know what? Help every community because every community is poisoned with nuclear pollution. I heard from somebody today in Florida. She's getting very sick. And you know what? People... My radio show is going to change. I'm going to stop fucking reporting on a lot of it. I mean, I'm going to report it. Excuse my language for cussing again. But I'm going to start reporting on health caregivers. I'm going to start reaching out to caregivers that can teach us how to live through this real health caregivers. Because this is a reality. I, I'm dumbfounded, completely shocked. I mean, off the chart shock at how much pollution there is in our country that is literally not just killing our environment, it's killing us. The diseases, uh, I personally know somebody in St. Louis right now who is very sick from nuclear pollution that I believe it's from the nuclear pollution that she was exposed to. Um, and a young, vibrant, beautiful woman. That is not easy for me to live with. And uh, I'm going to really make an effort on my radio show to get people on the air that can teach us about health and nutrition, do tapping with us, figure out ways that we can make it. And everybody needs to just assume that we've been poisoned. <laughs> like, it's it. It's here. It's going through us. We can't feel it. We can't see it. And it's coming in 10 to 15 years to you. So we need to do what we can. I'm reading this article because this article, and I'm going to show it to you. Boop, boop. And the credits are in, on my Facebook page, Nuts for Art. I do have the credits, the scientific credits. I went to Easy Bib. <laughs> Don't you love that? And I did a little bi bib bibliography. I like I did a little reference citation, scientific rights citation on it. But can you believe this? Uh, it has never empirically been tested. And for those of you who don't know what that word empirically means, it means it's never been tested. Like it's never been proved to be true. They've said this stuff, but they've never tried it. They've never compared it to. They identify, yes, this is what they say they have, but they've never really done it. And this is why we have everybody sick. So just assume, don't don't question, oh my God, I need to get a Geiger counter. It's fucking off the charts everywhere. So fuck the Geiger counters. Like really, make yourself well. Do not let the rain in your eyes, in your nose, in your mouth. You know, if you go swimming, keep it out of your mouth. Don't, let, don't try, make an effort to keep it out of all of your orifices. That's just kind of the bottom line. Stay out of the water, stay out of the rain, stay out of the snow. If you can keep it from out of your body, do. Don't drink the water. Get an air filter. Get a shower filter. For sure get a shower filter. They're not expensive and they're easy to put on. So, anyways, you guys, I'm going to end here. I'm making a YouTube video and I've been reading uh, this article. And this was like, I guess, I think tonight's version is clip eight. I think I did clip seven two nights ago. So I read this article about 10 minutes on my YouTube channel, and that's for art. N-U-T-Z-F-O-R-A-R-T. And um, 
there's a lot of different videos. I, I have puppet shows that I do. I haven't done one in a long time, but I really want to do one. <laughs> they're really obnoxious, though, and they're kind of spooky and scary. Because it's Mr. Nuclear Man, and you know what happens. He likes to come for your children. And that's what I'm going to tell you what. Protect yourself. And it's not just about the iodine. Eat well. Stay off the chemicals. Stay off the chemicals. Like, really, just... Go organic. Pay the extra money for organic. Stay off the GMOs. Um, it's very important, especially children. So anyways, um, I'm going to get going. I have homework to do. <laughs> Ciao. Put your courage feet on. Bye.